Hi everybody and welcome to COM250. This is the introduction to communications design and I'm your instructor Elizabeth Bowman. I wanted to show you a couple of things about uh, COM250's interface and C-Tools. Um, I've got the C-Tools um, window up right here and if you can take a look you'll see that um, at the home page here we have a number of um, areas, the recent announcements, which is quite important, um, the recent chat messages, which is a great place to look for help uh, from other students and from me, and of course the information of the site itself. Now down the left-hand column here you will see that we've got a number of options to click on. One of the most important places to go is the resources area. Now when you click into the resources area, I have it divided out by weeks. Week one, of course, is just uh, finishing up today. This is Sunday. Um, we're going to go ahead and click and take a look at week one's uh, website. This is an HTML page that has all the information about the course. Now down here near the bottom, you'll see the assignments, and it tells you right away where to go for these assignments. I'll show you the forms area in a minute. Be sure to read these very carefully because it'll give you specific instructions and what's required for your assignment. And of course, this is the introduction. Most of you have done an excellent job on these assignments already. Um, here we have assignment number two, which was to just go out and research a, a logo. Now down at the bottom of this page, you'll see the grading criteria right here for your assignment. Read this very carefully. This is important. Um, these, this tells you right away uh, where the most points are um, to be had for your, uh, for your particular projects. I also will post resources in here, usually YouTube videos or podcasts. Uh, sometimes I'll post uh, HTML or um, PDF files in here for you to download as resources as well. So let's go back to the main C Tools interface here for COM250. We'll take a look at the forms area. This is where a lot of the action is going to be. Um, this is week one, of course, and here you can see the two um, question threads that I've set up. Um, when we click on this, you'll see the student's posts within, and anything that's new will be tagged as new. And of course, you can go ahead and click on any one of these, and it will expand out. Now, I've noticed quite a few of you have been posting from Microsoft Word, so we get this extra uh, code in here, which isn't really your fault, but uh, do your best to avoid that. Anyway, um, and then down here at the bottom, you'll see the responses. So I'm looking for you to respond to other students' posts within here. That's how I get my uh, uh, grading criteria set up, and, and most of you will notice that it's kind of fun to go in here and interact with each other, um, making different comments on, uh, on the assignments. Um, that's one of the advantages of an online course, is you can interact with the other students quite a bit more, and it is a requirement for some of these assignments. So in the forums area, I may require you to uh, post actual files uh, so that other students can download them and take a look. I also might ask you at some point to put things in the assignments area. This is a private area um, where only you and I can talk, um, not just with all your classmates. Of course, we have the grade book where you can click and look at your grades. I don't have them input in here yet, but you'll see them shortly and the announcements area, which of course is at the top there. We also have a chat room. Um, chat room, you can go in and talk with other students. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show all the messages in here. Um, you can see students in here asking questions. Periodically, I will be in the chat room, um, usually on Sunday nights. Um, as the semester progresses, I will post my office hours um, where you can meet me live in the chat room if you have any questions, um, and I'd be happy to answer them in the chat if you wish. I'm going to go back to the home here. Now, I did ask you students to download some open source software. It's completely free. There's no licensing or um, anything associated with the open source software. Um, there are three programs in particular I'm interested in having you use this semester. Um, let's take a look at a couple of them right now. The first one I'm going to ask you to use is Inkscape. This is the Inkscape down, download page. You can download the software and install it. It's very much like Adobe Illustrator. All right. This second program I've asked you to download here is GIMP. GIMP is also free, open source software program. It's very much like Adobe Photoshop. And the third program I've asked you to download um, is actually a suite of products um, called SeaMonkey. Um, it allows you to do uh, web design projects, um, and it's somewhat like Dreamweaver. So those are the three programs I've asked you to download into C-Tools. I want to welcome you all to the class. If you have any questions, be sure to email me. Um, I'm always checking my email and staying on top of that. It's very important, of course, in an online course. 
Um, and like I said, I'll post some office hours within the next couple days um, so you can meet me in live in the chat room if you need to. Um, our next assignment is going to be a logo design project. Um, I'm going to post a number of videos and information in there for you so you'll know exactly what to do. And I hope you have a great week. Bye.